Hey Undertaker, I realize that I'm a massive mark for you, hence why I'm wearing the Thank You Taker shirt. And I realize that I've made the argument before because I firmly believe it that based off of your importance to the company, your longevity, the number of people you've helped make better over the years, the big moments that you've been involved with, how many years you were a seminal part of WrestleMania, that you may very well be the GOAT of WWE for all time, for all time, and for all freaking time. But I also know that there comes a point in time where all good things must come to an end. And sometimes we don't want to face that reality. Sometimes we do not want to believe that to be true. But it is true. And I know for years, I've been kicking that can down the road of saying, eh, it's Undertaker, I want to see him again, I want to see you again, I want to see you again, I want to see you again. But ultimately, we have reached that point where I need to see you no longer. You have done so much for that company over the past two and a half decades that there is nothing more for you to give. And more importantly, there is nothing really good that you are going to give us as fans, specifically if you choose to wrestle once again at WrestleMania. Look, I understand you truly love the WWE. You truly love the wrestling business. You have sacrificed so much for that company, for that business, for so many decades. You've given your body, you've given your life, you've given marriages, you've given everything to it. And for that, believe me, I and many, many millions of other wrestling fans around the world, thank you. But there comes a point in time where you have to ride off into the sunset, where it's just not worth it anymore. And especially after watching Last year at WrestleMania, and you struggled through that match with Roman Reigns, it was so cringeworthy and it was sad to think that this was going to be the last match potentially in your career, that it was going to be that bad, that cringy, and that depressing. But ultimately, sometimes that's what we need to know that it is time. Father Time remains undefeated, always has been, always will be. And ultimately, this was Father Time letting you know, Undertaker, and letting all of us know as fans that it's okay, it is time, and it has done, been, since time. It's one thing where, frankly, you should have already retired after you lost the streak to Lesnar at WrestleMania 30 because at that point in time, you ceased to have a purpose of really being, especially if you weren't going to face Lesnar the next year directly at WrestleMania to get your revenge. I realize you did that later, and I realize that we were fortunate to get you a little bit more at the tail end, the swan song of your career as a result of that. But make no mistake about it. Once the streak was over, you really failed to serve a purpose anymore because if you beat somebody it doesn't help anyone and if they beat you it doesn't really elevate them or help anybody and even when you talk about Roman Reigns and you doing the honors to him at WrestleMania how much did that really help him knowing that the guy was already going to be rocket shipped continuously and pounded down everybody's throats it wasn't really a victory he needed. It wasn't something that necessarily took him to an entirely different level. It just didn't, similar to how, frankly, it didn't help Brock Lesnar all that much. And I realize that maybe you've had hip surgery, and maybe you're feeling better, and maybe you don't want that to be the last image of you wrestling in a WWE ring, but ultimately, it was the perfect send-off, as sad and as depressing as it was, because it let everybody know that it was time, and most importantly of all, it should have let you know it's time. And maybe this is one of these things that it becomes a part of you for so many years and you have it in your blood for so long that you just can't let it go. And you always think that there is one more match in you. And to be fair, maybe there is. Maybe there is. But maybe it's better to leave that one more match out of you than to try and get that one more match out of you. Does that make sense? I don't know why you want to do it. This company has gone in an entirely different direction this company, frankly, is not going to get a massive bump from you being around. There's not going to be a massive level of interest in your match at this point. 
because you have now lost not once but twice at WrestleMania, it doesn't matter who your opponent is up to and including John Cena. It is too little and way too damn late. And I don't know if it's based off of some of the reports a few years ago that you were having some financial troubles that you really need the seven-figure payout that comes from working at WrestleMania. Well, hey, Undertaker, I've got a proposal for you. Maybe us as wrestling fans, all of us can band together, create a Patreon account, and every single one of us that watches Raw, which is over 2.6 million people just in the U.S. alone, every single week, if each and every one of us donates $1, that is $2.6 million, which is going to be vastly more than what you would get for a WrestleMania payout. And in this particular case, we would give you the money willingly to go the hell away. The only way I want to see you at WrestleMania 34 is because you are headlighting the Hall of Fame class. Period. There is no other point, no other purpose, no other reason for you to wrestle, have a storyline, anything like that whatsoever. The time has come and gone. It is time to move aside for your sake, for fans like me, for my sake too, because you represented so much of my life as a wrestling fan since the early 1990s. It's kind of sad and pathetic to watch you still trying to hang on in 2017, 2018, like I'm still trying to pathetically hang on to those glory days gone by. So hey, Undertaker, I've got a dollar for you. Stay retired and don't come back and wrestle at WrestleMania, period.